All right, we are back. The car is rebooting. And as soon as it's done rebooting, we should have our new version 2020.48.26. I have my computer here next to me so I can keep an eye on any chat that pops up. Should be seeing the Tesla T logo here any second. It's currently rebooting the computer. But the software update is um, done. It downloaded, it's installed. So we will start checking it out here as soon as we get our screen back. 21 people watching, thanks so much for joining in. Um, the computer is rebooting right now, so we're going to see that Tesla T pop up any second. Hi there, Moon. Welcome. Thanks for joining us here. All right, just waiting on the computer to reboot. Make sure it knows I'm in the car. I have my door open now. I'm excited for this. This is a big, uh, exciting Christmas morning here. We should be getting that Tesla T any second now. I'm going to close my door because it's cold outside today. So for those of you just joining us, the update is complete. It's currently rebooting. There's the Tesla T. So as soon as this comes on, we're going to go through all the features of the new version here, which is 2020.48.26. And we'll see what kind of surprise. And we'll go for a drive, too. Um... The rumor is, is that, you know, some of the full self-driving features are supposed to be there. Oh, you can already tell it looks different. This is, this section's a lot bigger. Oh, there we go. So that's a really nice, um, we're getting some of the beta features here. All right, so it's already, it's presenting these in different ways. So let's see. So we have driving visualization improvements. The instrument cluster has been refreshed. Autopilot set speed, autopilot availability, and detected speed limit are now displayed. Select items have slightly moved, but will continue and look behave. Okay. Scheduled departure improvements, supercharger display. All right. So that's all. We can check some of that out, but we really want to check out this section and see what this looks like when we're driving. Um, so... All right, so this looks a little different down here already. So we have new icons down here. Um, these look different. So let's go to autopilot. All of this looks the same. Um, music, okay. There's our camera icon. Um, no, this is dot 26. So I'm looking over here at my comments every once in a while, so sorry if I'm late. Um, this is 2020.48.26 that we just installed here. So that's the camera. We have a new windshield wiper um, icon. Let's see if I can get this to focus a little better. There, you can kind of you can kind of see it right there. There's the new windshield wiper. Let's see if I can fix the. Um, brightness here a little bit yeah I guess it gets better when we zoom in there we go uh, it sort of does for a second that's strange all right so new windshield wiper icon so I like that the up button for the menu is right here right now and there's all our usual call calendar camera energy um, it says 25 in the release notes. Oh, I didn't notice that. All right, let's go look. Let's go to software. It's downloading game updates right now, so we'll check that out too. Um, so our software version 
is 2020-4826. If we look at the release notes, wait for those to come up here. For those of you who aren't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click subscribe if you would, please. We're up to over 200 subscribers trying to hit that magical 1,000. Um, you're right, it does say dot .25, so um, that must be a typo, um, or they forgot to update it when they did dot .26. I know Elon said they were working on some bug fixes. Um, so we can't do anything with the car yet. We'll see what happens when we're driving. Um, these are the sea heaters. That all looks okay. This all looks basically the same. Um, thank you for the new subscriber. Appreciate that. I start driving. Yep, I agree. Let's start driving. Um, my laptop here is on Wi-Fi, so we're probably going to lose the comments here while we drive, but let's check it out. All right, so there we are in reverse. I got to put my seatbelt on here. All right, let's get the seatbelt going. Let's see what kind of dots we get. Let's see how much of that full self-driving um, they enabled here. We'll drive on some city streets and see what happens. All right, so you could tell like I need to turn off. I have stabilization turned on. Let me turn that off to make this a little easier. There we go. Um, so this whole display area is different. You see, if you've been watching the videos for um, people who have the full self-driving beta, you'll you'll recognize that. This is tricky. I'm getting a delay on my side. It's probably because it's switched over to... 5G, so I'll do the best I can here. Try to let you see as much of the screen as possible. So, you know, this this does look better here, but it looks like all that stuff that was in the uh, full self-driving beta, a lot of it is not showing up here quite yet. Um, so let's try to go into autopilot and see what happens. Yeah, so I still have to hit the accelerator to continue through the green light here. So that's the same as before. Yeah, it looks like just all of this is redesigned here. Um, thank you for all the new subscribers. I appreciate it, you guys. I'm trying to get this channel going here. So all this is rearranged. This whole section here where the... Um, that was a cop that just passed me. Uh, the uh, 50 mile per hour, the speed limit, and all this, you know, if you're used to how it currently displays, you know that that's all rearranged. So that whole section there is rearranged. Um, but does it look like we have, you know, all the dots like you see on the full self-driving beta? Um, but we just have this whole new section here that's kind of bigger and um, it's t t sort of the next step I guess in the full self-driving I can't see the comments anymore right now um, so sorry if I'm not responding to your comments Let's see if I can give you kind of a view of the road here as I'm driving We got a stoplight coming up here. See what that looks like. Stopping behind this car in front of us. The light turned green and it's just going on its own there. I didn't have to do anything. So, I mean, the display, this does look nice right here. Um, it's nice that it's bigger looking forward to kind of when we have all the you know all the full self-driving stuff showing up all around here all the objects and things that you see but um, looks like that's not included in this update
So we'll just go up here and we'll turn around and we'll um, go back to the house so that I can play with some of the other features. But yeah, I wanted to show you what it looks like in driving mode here. I mean, it's definitely, it's definitely a nice step up, um, having this nice big um, section here that shows you kind of, you know, everything that's going on around you. Um, the car is a lot bigger. I'm, I'm hitting the accelerator now just to speed up a little bit. It always thinks the speed limit here is 45. It's actually 55. There's a church right up here. I'm going to turn around right at the church. Just turn, get turned around, and we'll head back towards the house. Check out what else we have here. There's a cone right in front of us. You see that up there? There's the cone. It shows up on the screen here. We'll go back on autopilot. There's going to be a little sun coming in here, going this way. I'll go check in here and make sure I have all the autopilot stuff enabled. Yeah, it looks like I do. So there's nothing new in here that you can turn on that I see to get more of the full self-driving visualization stuff on there like you see in the beta version that people have. All right, so we're in full self-driving. Coming up to that same stoplight that we were at before. Looks like I have 114 watching. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I really appreciate that. We're trying to get to a thousand as quickly as possible. So here comes the stoplight. I have to hit the accelerator to go through this green light here. That hasn't changed. probably see, I don't know if you can see, there's um, more updates waiting. Those are game updates. So when we get back home and get on Wi-Fi, we'll, we'll get all the rest updated. We'll see what's new in the games, if anything. As soon as I get back home, I'll be able to see your comments as well, so I'll, I can respond to any questions that you have as we go through what's new. I'm trying to make it so you can see as much of the screen as possible here. So we'll be coming up to another stoplight right up here, and then just past that is where I live. So we'll be pulling in, getting back on Wi Fi here. Stopping for traffic control. The light is still red. Okay, the light just turned green. You can see that on the screen here. And I didn't have to do anything there. I didn't hit the accelerator or anything, so it just did all that by itself. We're in a 2021 Model Y. Um, just got this a couple months ago. All right, so let's go out of autopilot and turn back into my neighborhood here. We'll go back in the driveway, get connected to Wi-Fi. 
let those game updates download and then we'll check those out too. See if it connects to Wi-Fi here. Should. There it goes. All right. So back in Wi-Fi mode. Let me um. Let me refresh my laptop here so I can see your comments. Thank you to all you guys who are watching. It looks like 113 watching. Really appreciate it. I'm gonna refresh this. All right. There we go. Now I should be able to see your comments. Bottom nav is different, yep. Yes, I was driving and holding the phone. Don't tell on me. Um, okay, so let's go through some of this here. Let's open the front. I wanna see the visualization here of what happens when you click open. That's cool. I like that a lot, that's awesome. Let's open the trunk. Nice. That looks really good. Close it. All right. So again, the bottom, the bottom nav here is different. So these icons are updated, um, which just bring you back into the same menu options that we had before. Um, so those are good. The menu, we have a, a um, you can get quickly to the cameras here. So that brings up the three cameras. Windshield wiper now has its own button here at the bottom. So you can one click, go into your windshield wiper and make changes there. Um, these other cards look like they are the same. So now we have a view here with nothing here, which is nice. I like that. Um, does my version have boom box? Um, uh, I'm not sure what boombox is. Tell me, tell me more. I don't know what you're referring to there. We'll take a look though. Um, if you're referring to the the music tracks, you're referring to tracks, the music maker. We could take a look at that. Um, the radar detector is a Valentine one, um, the new one that just came out. So that's mounted right above there. Uh, let's see what's happening with our updates here. So if we go to software, um, looks like everything's updated says everything is up to date so let's go take a look at the games so we'll go to toy box oh there's boom box okay i got it um entertain a crowd with your media player when parked you can also adjust the sounds your car makes all right um i see boom box add up to five custom sounds connect a usb with a directory named boom box all right that's awesome so let's go in there um, play current media I don't hear anything yet. Yep, we're working on, we're doing boombox right now. So we're going to do horn sound fart preview. Oh my gosh, you guys. That just played on the speaker outside. That is amazing. So <laughs> this is so cool. <clears throat> so let's do posh. Well, I never. I hope you guys can hear that. He said, "Well, I never." So this is for the horn sound. Toss a coin. Toss a coin to your witcher. Goat. That's all. I love the goat. Old horn. <laughs> Applause. Ta-da. Well, this is going to be too much fun. DJ. Okay, I think that's my favorite one so far. 
I love the DJ. A cucaracha. My neighbors probably think I, this is crazy right now. Replace horn. I'm not sure what that does. Can you, maybe you guys know what's the difference between horn sound and replace horn? Um, so does that mean if I have this on and I hit the horn, will it play that? Oh yeah. That's what it is. So I hit the horn. I like the little cucaracha. That's good. I like. I think I like DJ the best. That's pretty awesome. All right. So driving sound. Let's do the driving sound. We have, so we have coconuts. It's pretty quiet. Can you guys hear that? And then, what what is this? Oh, snake jazz. Oh, we got snake jazz. Oh, yeah. This is my favorite thing. This is way better than the visualization. I love this. It's probably hard for you guys to hear that. It's pretty quiet. I hope you can hear that. Let me know if you can hear that or not. So, so we have Polynesian elevator music, toss a coin, rainforest, rock and roll, harp, ice cream, merry-go-round, and Caribbean. Yeah, you can add up to five custom sounds. So you connect a USB with a directory named Boombox. Um, that is, I can't wait to see what people do with that. So let's try Poly Polynesian elevator music. That is aw that is so cool. Yeah, it's playing outside the vehicle. Oh, no sound on driving sounds. Okay, here. Let me get out so you can hear it. This one's on Polynesian. Here. coming from there's a speaker in the front of the car it's the it's the little speaker that's there when you back up that's making like the backup noise that's required um so now you can use it with uh yeah at low speeds that's right so now you can customize it to however you want it um i like that a lot let's do rock and roll I don't hear anything yet for this one. Uh, let's see. Looks like my phone might have connected to Bluetooth. Oh. Okay. So I know you guys probably can't hear those. Oh, there, there's rainforest. Those are probably hard to hear. Can you guys hear that? So those are fun. Let's do harp. Oh yeah, ice cream. Let's check out ice cream. right yeah i'm not sure i think it's starting in 2020 i think they started putting they enabled that speaker in the front um and everybody hated it but now i think everybody's gonna want it i think you're right yeah rainforest that's the one we were listening to before it's kind of like it's quiet that one's kind of quiet um, let's see, merry-go-round. I'm 
That one's pretty good. Um, all right, let's see what's in Summon Sound. So all the same, all the same uh, musical options here in Summon um, that we've been listening to. Coconuts is quiet. Um, yeah, this, the horn sound is by far the best. Good, I'm glad you guys can hear the rainforest. Did we go through them all? Did you guys want to hear anything else in there? Toss a coin. That one's really quiet. Good, sound is good, good. Yeah, the windows are down. It's freezing. I'm freezing my butt off for you guys, but it's worth it. All right, there's Caribbean. Yes. Yep. Uh, so, yes, I think so. According to this, you can use that same USB. You just create a directory called Boombox and um, add your own five custom sounds. So that'll be fun. Full self-driving is not on this update here. I'm going to roll up my windows because it's it's uh, 20 degrees right now. Um, full self-driving is not here, but um, we get the visualization improvements here. So, um, um, yeah, no heated steering wheel, I don't think, but let's see. Turn on the heated steering wheel. So we get failed to turn on steering wheel heater is what it says. So that is not here in my car. Um, walk away lock. So that's because I, I'm getting this message because I turned off Bluetooth. Um, UI improvements. So. Yeah, we talked about those earlier. These have all been updated down here. Um, just the icons are updated, and we have a dedicated one for the uh, backup camera now and a dedicated icon for the windshield wipers. Um, yeah, installing. It took about 20 minutes for mine to install. All right, so Boombox is pretty awesome. That is my favorite thing so far. Entertainment looks like that's all the same. Um, let's see. Let's go to the games. Arcade. All right, so some new games here, as was uh, rumored. So we have the Battle of Palatopia. Um, so that's new. We have Solitaire. Cat Quest. Yeah, we just did a drive. So those of you asking about the uh, full self-driving, you can uh, go back in the video as soon as this is done and check that out. Um, you'll see there's not there's not a lot of changes. It's really just that this section here um, has been updated. It's wider, it has the new visualization, um, but it's not like the videos you've seen of full self-driving with the dots and, and things like that. Nice, thanks Ian, appreciate that. Hopefully get some new subscribers out of this. We're trying to get to 1,000 as quickly as possible. Get the channel going. Um, so if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. We'll have lots of new videos coming soon. All taken here from my 2021 Model Y. Not a fan? Jen, why not? Why are you not a fan? What do you not like? Um, do you not like... Some people don't like that this is bigger. Um, it kind of takes over more of the screen. Um, so here, I'll put it, someone asked to go into reverse. I need to, oh yeah, I have it. Um, let me turn Bluetooth back on so that we can actually drive here. And then I have to close the frunk too. Um, the update showed up about a half hour ago. I talked up on my phone. about 20 minutes to install and so maybe it's been about 40 minutes since it popped up um, okay so let's see this should be able to work now get rid of that all right so there there we're, we are in reverse now um so there's just some different visualizations that appear here. 
bird's eye view does not appear to be enabled that I can see. It looks like that's the same view that I was getting before with the backup cameras. I don't see any new features here to um, enable any kind of bird's eye view. So it looks like that's not there yet. Yeah, so this is all new. The gear that you're in has been updated here. Um, this has been rearranged. You've probably seen that on other FSD videos. No bird's eye, not that I see. You don't like the asymmetrical speedometer at the top? Yeah, it is It is different. Can you click on the side repeater cameras to zoom in? All right, let's see. Um, nope, doesn't look like it. When you click on those, it just closes the um, camera view. You can click on that so that you only see one or the other. Um, but nope, it does not enlarge the side views. Thanks, Jeff. Appreciate it. Thanks for the new subscriptions, everybody. I really appreciate it. Let me know what other questions you have. Let's go back into the games here. Oops, sorry. Entertainment, arcade. So again, we have we have some new games. Battle of Polytopia, let you see that. Solitaire, Cat, Cat Quest is new. Uh, let's see what else. Let's go back into the release notes and see what else we have here. Waypoints. Yeah, that's a good one. Let's see if we have waypoints. Um, so let's go. We'll put this in. Had to pick up a ham yesterday from Honey Baked Ham. Um, I do have full self-driving, so I did pay the 8000 No bird's eye view, we just checked that. Um, I don't see a way to add a waypoint. So it doesn't like look doesn't look like waypoints are there yet, as far as I can tell. I don't see anywhere to add a waypoint. Um, there's no new options in here that I see. So it looks like waypoints are not there yet. Um, turn signal with the camera. Okay, let's try that. Nope, that just stays. Let's see if I'm in drive. Let me put it in drive and do a turn signal. Nope, that doesn't change anything. I'm sure that stuff is coming soon. Um, what else do you, what else should I look for in here? The external sounds. Yep, um, we can do the external sounds real quick. Um, I will go put the phone in front of the car and, uh, not just UI, the, the biggest, the biggest changes that I see are, are this big section here is completely redesigned and the icons across the bottom are new. And then the biggest thing I think that people are going to like so far, at least the thing I like the most is boom box. Um, so, um, I will go put my phone in front of the car and then we'll go through the different options of the driving sound, which is the sound you hear when it's, um, you know, you're driving slowly, then it's quiet. So let's go set the phone in here and then I'll let you guys listen to the different sounds. All right, I'll still be able to see your comments. Off. And then, all right, let's play the sounds now.
ride along with girls all three along the Alright, so those are all the sounds, the driving sounds. I went through all of them. I could still see your comments while I was doing that. Um, there's a few more things I want to check out here in Boombox. Um, yeah, I did go for a drive earlier. There's not too much exciting to see in there. Maybe we'll do it again right at the end. Um, I'm not sure what this does. Current media, it says. So let's see if we can pick a song alright so there's happy so now if we go into boombox under fiddle play that song that's playing right now oh my gosh it is so it's taking the current song that's playing and playing it through the speakers That's pretty awesome. So right away, you could take any song that you're listening to, any media, and use that as your driving sound, which is pretty cool. Um, all right, so we're going to stop that. The horn sound is pretty great. I think that's my favorite thing so far. All right, what other questions do you guys have while we're all here? This is definitely my favorite part of the update. That is pretty cool. No, you cannot change the volume. I don't see any. There's no options in here to change the volume. So, um, oh, yeah, superchargers. Okay, let's look for those. So here are the, here's the supercharger um, list display. So that's my nearest one, 8.4 miles away. It's showing how many kilowatts each one is. I don't really see any updates besides that. I believe this is the holiday update, yes. I don't know why there's no traffic data. Maybe it's not connecting to my Wi-Fi very well. Um, but there doesn't look like there's too much new in here that I notice. I don't know if you guys notice anything different. Number of available solves. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, the numbers. So instead of just showing the dashes, which was kind of hard to see, um, it tells you number of available stalls. So, yep, you're right about that. So that's pretty cool. You're right, I like that. Yeah, you can play actual music. So when you go into Boombox here, um, keep hitting the wrong thing, Toy Box, Boombox. You can play current media. And now it's playing happy outside of my car 
The horn sound can be a fart, by the way. I don't know if you guys heard that one before. Here, let me roll down my window. And you can make the horn sound be a fart. Here's what it sounds like. That's a nice one. That's a, I might use that as my horn sound moving forward here. You cannot change the volume of the outside music. I'm sure you could make it curse at people if you wanted to upload a USB of that. No heated steering wheel. We tried that before, um, and it said, I'll do it again here. Turn on heated steering wheel. Failed to turn on steering wheel heater, so that doesn't work still. Yeah, we'll go for a drive right at the end again. Again, um, that's a there. I went for a drive earlier in the stream, so you can go back and check that out. Yeah, I don't believe there is hardware in these cars for a heated steering wheel. Um, there was a video from I1 Tesla where um, one of his followers actually took the steering wheel apart, and um, there's no heating elements in there. Turn signal. There's nothing with the turn signals. Nothing new. Um, it doesn't come up with the left and right repeater cameras. Yeah, so let's go back. Let's go back and look at the release notes. That's what I started to do before. See if there's anything else in here that we should take a look at. Play outside. Okay, let's see. Play outside music. I don't hear anything playing. It said playing music outside, but... Oh, it looks like it's just doing a search. Um, so that didn't work. No bird's eye view. Nope, not that I can see. Um, all right, so some more things popped up in here. Um, actually, in the release notes. That's interesting. Um, so we have the new games. The Battle of Politopia is here. Cat Quest Solitaire. Boombox. Yep, so this is the one that we've been playing with. I'll let you... Look at the release notes there. So let's go through this. Driving visualization improvements. The driving visual visualization has been refreshed and now offers a larger visualization to allow drivers to view more details of the road surroundings. The next turn will now appear above the visualization if the navigation turn list is covered by another app. Additionally, su select items have slightly moved but will continue to look and behave the same. Some notable, notable differences include the following. Quick access to the backup camera and wipers has moved to the bottom bar. We saw that. Indicator lights have been moved to the side of the touchscreen. Autopilot set speed, autopilot availability, and detected speed limit are now displayed next to the driving speed. So we saw that. Scheduled departure improvements. Scheduled departure can now precondition your battery and cabin even when your car is unplugged. To account for different utility rate plans, you can now set the time when your off-peak rates end to save on charging costs. Oh, that's nice. So I do have um, I do have peak and off-peak uh, rates. I, I'm on hourly pricing with ComEd. Um, emissions testing mode can now be used outside the car. To set up, select your desired sound and place the cushion on the external speaker. When ready, place selected sound by pressing the left scroll wheel button or using. Okay, so let's I don't let's see what that. I think you can make fart noises whenever you want on the outside of your car. So let's go to Toy Box Emissions. Let's see. Where did we? Where did it say to make that change? Did you guys catch that? That's on the inside. Oh, is it this? Yeah, there we go. So we hit that, and now it's on the outside. So it's making the fart noises on the outside of the car when you press the uh, when you press the left button here on the steering wheel. So that, that can amuse my neighbors. 
I'm just going to leave that on for fun. All right, let's go back to the release notes. Keep an eye on your comments here too while we're doing this. Supercharger, so supercharger pins on your touchscreen now show display the number of available stalls. Quickly search for nearby amenities by tapping an amenity icon on the supercharger pop-up display. All right, so let's try that again. So let's go to supercharger. So we'll click on one of these. Oh, and if we want, Not sure why my nav data is not loading. It's connected to Wi-Fi. It should load. Yeah, I'll show departure scheduling. Um, yeah, there's nothing different. Oh, the steering wheel, the things. Yeah, me too. I have a 70 k in and I don't have the new steering wheel buttons. And I don't have the USB in the glove box either, which is kind of a bummer. Um... Scheduled departure or scheduled charging. Um, so, how do we get to that? Okay. So, scheduled charge start. Switch to scheduled departure. Schedule, settings. So preconditioning all week or weekdays. Turn off scheduled charging to use off peak charging. Change off peak hours. Okay, so you can go in here and utility off peak rates end at 6 a.m. Your vehicle will try to charge while utility rates are lowest. I have, I have all this stuff off right now because I'm not driving at a normal time anymore. Um, so that's all off. But I think that's everything new that's in there. Preconditioning set battery or set climate, cabin climate and preheat battery by scheduled departure time if battery is above 20%. Off-peak charging, schedule charging to com to complete during off-peak hours to reduce energy costs. So I might use that moving forward. I do not have the new knobs on my... This is a 70K VIN, and it has the old knobs. Can you rapid-fire fart? Let's see. Let me roll down the window. Let's try it. Uh, let's see. I don't know if it's still doing it outside. Let's go back to emissions. Yeah, it should be outside. All right, so if you press in here, this moves it back to inside and that makes it go to outside. It's on, it's on random. Let's go to this. It just plays it for, it plays it once for each press. Um, we went for a drive earlier in the stream with the autopilots, autopilot improvements. So you can uh, rewatch that. And um, there's not a lot of changes, but it just, the visualization is different, but it doesn't look like the full self-driving beta that you've seen um, in other videos. Yeah, it's just, it's still, it's still the same. Um, we'll go for a drive here right at the end. So, um, right, right when we're almost done with the stream, we'll go for one more drive. Headlight performance, um, there's no difference in this update, but, um, it's been fine. Um, I know some of the newer cars are starting to roll out with the new headlights, and I'm curious to see what the difference is. Let's go take a look, one more look at the release notes here. See if we missed anything. 
I have a feeling there was supposed to be more here, um, and some of it got removed. Maybe it wasn't ready yet. So the Tesla T's been removed. Um, that's not a big deal. So this says 2020 4825, and again, this is version 2020 4826 is what just downloaded here. No video conferencing, no interior camera. Nope, none of that. Waypoints we tried earlier. If they're there, I don't I don't understand how to use them. Um, I don't see them in here. So if I navigate to the supercharger, um, I don't see anywhere to add another destination or a waypoint. I don't see any options in here to turn on to add waypoints, so I don't think that that's there, and it's not mentioned in the release notes. What other questions? I think we've covered everything. So, um, no, no sentry mode improvements. Not they're not listed. Um, I don't see anything. I'll show you these one more time in the release notes. So here's the full list of the release notes, and I don't see anything listed about sentry mode at all. So um, it's just so the release notes itself are in a separate screen. So it's talking about that. Three new games, the boom box, which are the noises on the outside. Um, this is the, talking about the new visualization right here. Departure improvements, emission mode on the outside, supercharger display, and then the Tesla T being gone. I think that's the full extent of the update. Um, so we'll go for one more drive here. Let me put my seatbelt on. I know some of you didn't see the earlier drive. And I'll show you uh, the differences here. Let me turn Bluetooth back on. All right, so we'll go for a little drive here. So you guys can see that. I'll put it in autopilot once we get on the main road over here. So you can see everything on the left-hand side there is just bigger. Here's the turn signal on. Um, nothing different with the cameras or anything. That all looks the same. All right, so here's autopilot. Try to get everything in the screen here best I can. Everything's just bigger over here, you know, the, and the graphics on, the, on your car itself are more detailed. So it's stopping for the red light coming up here. I can't see your comments right now. So if anybody's commenting, sorry, I'm, I'm not able to see them while I'm driving here. So it stopped automatically at the red light. I didn't have to do anything. When it turns green, we got the green light and I had to hit the accelerator to get it going. Speeding up slowly here. But we are in autopilot right now. You can see from the blue steering wheel. You can see as other cars go by.
So, yeah, nothing too exciting, really. You see a car passing you here on the right side. So you saw that car show up. But it's just sort of everything that was there before, but bigger. And then this section, like I said, is um, redesigned. So they move the things around. Coming up to another stoplight here. Just turn red. So the car is stopping by itself. It's going to stop right at the line. So now it's green. So I just hit the accelerator to get it going. And we'll get up to the speed limit here. It's pretty slow how quickly it accelerates. Maybe I'm just a faster accelerator. When you have a Tesla, you get used to accelerating quickly. So, I mean, personally, I like that this is, we have a bicyclist coming up here. He never, the bicyclist never showed up on there at all. That's a little disappointing. Um, he was off to the right-hand side. He should have showed up on the screen. But I, li I like that this is bigger. I like that I have a nice big visualization right here. Um, it's just easier to kind of see. I think it's going to be really nice when we get more full self-driving features showing up in there. Be nice to have that big, the big view on the left there. I'm gonna speed up a little bit. So I said it earlier in the stream too. It thinks it's 45 through here, but it's actually 55. So it won't go any faster than 50, and the cars behind me start to get upset. We'll turn around at the same spot. There's a church parking lot right up here, so we'll take it out of autopilot and turn around right up here and we'll get back on that road and put it back on autopilot again I was already scolded earlier in the stream for driving while holding my phone so I know that I should not be doing that but the things I do for you guys right so just for that, I think you guys should uh, all subscribe to the channel. Just for the fact that I'm risking uh, my life, risking getting a ticket. Just kidding. Uh, so back on autopilot. There's a little bit of sun going this angle. Here's, here's the bicyclist coming up again on the left-hand side. Let's see if we get him this time. Nope, nothing on the screen. Just... Uh, the car going by in the opposite direction. Trying to get as much of the screen in the frame here as possible so you guys can see it all. Again, I can't see your comments right now while I'm driving, so I apologize for that. But just trying to give you a, a view of what the screen looks like during autopilot driving now. Okay, we're coming up to this next intersection. The light just turned yellow and now red. So stopping for traffic control, it says. This is basically all the same as before, just bigger. There's a cop coming up here. Um, so I'm going to put the phone lower just for a second. All right, he passed us. He didn't have his radar on or else my radar detector would have started beeping. Looks like we're out of focus now. Let's get it back in focus. There we go. Sorry about that. So back in autopilot's 45 mile per hour zone through here, we're going 50. Let's 
see the garbage cans there that we just passed. All right, coming up to another stoplight here. It's green right now. Let's see if it turns red as we approach. Yep, it's just turned yellow. Car recognized that. It's braking automatically. It's not, now going to stop at the line, so good job on that. That's the exact same as it worked before, though. Nothing new there. Um, everything's just bigger, right? So this red line. Here is bigger, the stoplights look bigger, everything in this section is just sort of enlarged. Seems like it has more detail. The car details obviously are, are more refined, it looks like. Okay, it's still red here. Should be getting a green here in just a second. There we go, green light. I'll do the accelerating up to 50, and then we'll let autopilot take over from there. All right, I'm going to turn off autopilot, and we're turning back into my neighborhood. So I think that's pretty much everything. I think we went through everything. Um, I'm going I'm to honk real quick. Oh, that, so it did the honking noise. Here, let's see, um, let me go in here and change this again real quick. Let me get off this main road here so that I'm not distracted. All right. Uh, okay, so let's go into toy box and then boom box oh we turned off replace horn all right so i got to put in park we'll replace horn hmm not letting me do it right now let's see why not i want to do the dj so yeah so it's a little buggy um you have to pick one first and then do replace horn and so now we'll start driving and we'll do the horn here it's still the horn. So, yeah, I don't get that, I guess. We did the replace horn, and um, it's turning it off when I drive. So maybe I'm missing something there. Let's see. Let's try that one more time. We'll put in park. We'll say replace horn, which I can't click on right now, which is weird, right? Preview, stop, replace. No. So I we'll switch to a different one, switch back, replace horn, preview. Oh, you know why? Maybe it's because my Bluetooth is on. But that doesn't make sense, right? You, ha you have to have Bluetooth on to drive the car. So it seems like something is happening when um, the Bluetooth audio is connected and it's not playing the outside sounds. And so I'm not quite sure what's going on there, but um, we'll keep playing around with that and see if we can get it fixed. But um, 132 of you watching right now, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Please subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm trying to bring lots of new content all the time as much as possible. Um, so if you like the video and subscribe, I really appreciate it.